third year in a row and the fourth time in the past five years, North Carolina A&T is going to the Celebration Bowl. It's considered the Black College National Championship. Much of A&T's success this season is thanks to their star running back, Jermaine Martin. But a pair of incidents almost ended his football career. Our Chris Lee talks with Martin about his second chance. When Jermaine Martin is one on one in the open field, it's a defender's worst nightmare. When I see the hole, it's just like, hey, it's this your time right here. It's your only chance. And Jermaine knows about chances. It's because of his second chance at football that he's in a position that he's currently in, leading all FCS programs in the nation in yards per carry. I know I let a lot of people down doing that, but you know, I feel like I, I had to make up for it. What he's referring to is one of the darkest moments of his life. On July 10th, 2017, Jermaine was a rising sophomore at Coastal Carolina, and four of his friends were riding in a car with him. He was giving his friends a ride home, and they were pulled over and searched by police. The police found two guns in his car, and everyone riding was arrested. I got a letter from the school saying basically that I can't come back on campus until I get my charges figured out and all that kind of stuff. Jermaine was also kicked off the Chanticleers football team. After a while, they, they told me that once I got my charges dropped or whatever, they still wasn't going to let me back on campus. So I, mean, I just had to live with that, you know, and it just made me like numb. After six months of sitting at home and watching his former teammates continue their football careers, he finally got his release and the second chance he wanted at North Carolina A&T State University. Coach Barnett hit me up. It was right before the Celebration Bowl. And uh, he hit me up. He was like, so, you know, hey, you still looking for a home? And I was like, yes, sir. And Jermaine is taking full advantage of the second chance that a is giving him by surpassing Tariq Cohen's record of 18 rushing touchdowns in one season. But he's also fueled by the loss of his older brother, Mar Twain, who died of leukemia when Jermaine was only 16. His brother was only 17 never having the chance to become a football star. He passed away and I know he wanted to go to the league. He played running back. That's the only reason why I even play running back. So I feel like it's, it's, it's destiny, you know. I feel like it's only right for me to fill out his dreams. You know, it's my dream too, but I'm not doing it for me no more. I'm doing it for him, so. On top of that, Jermaine fights a battle that we don't see every single game. Before his freshman season at Coastal Carolina, he accidentally cut his left hand open while helping his dad clear trees after a storm. He now doesn't have feeling in his middle, ring, or pinky fingers on his left hand. Amazing for a player who doesn't drop the ball on the field and learn from dropping the ball in real life. Would you script your life any differently or would you think everything should be the same? I felt like I was up on top of the world at Coastal Carolina, you know, and I feel like I couldn't, I was above the law and I couldn't be touched. So, you know, I needed to be brought back to reality. Sometimes that's what we need, you know, but I was blessed enough to have a second chance. So, you know, I wouldn't change nothing about it. I feel like it, it made me who I am today. There you go. Chris Lee with that story tonight.